Hi, this is Randy Rolfe from the Institute for Creative Solutions, sharing some foundational concepts about vibrant health through natural living. And today I want to talk about water. Uh, some recent studies came out that they were saying, the scientists said that people should learn to recognize their thirst because that's the best measure of whether you're thirsty. If your lips are dry, if you're um, losing your concentration, or if you're getting irritable, or uh, you just your joints are hurting more, or you're not sleeping well. Um, those are all signs that you need more fluid, and water is the way to go. Uh, for a long time, people have talked about eight glasses a day, and everybody's carrying a bottle, and you really don't need that. You need to respond to your thirst, and I'm a big advocate, as you probably know, to recognizing your hunger and your thirst. And uh, one of the important things is not to mistake thirst for hunger. Many people will grab a snack when they're really thirsty. So uh, I do recommend drinking a glass of water, which would be six to eight ounces, before you eat. So before you start a meal, before you run and get a snack. Um, have some water. And it's a good idea to filter your water because um, a lot of municipal water, especially well water, can have residual uh, PFAS, uh, which are everywhere. Those are the micro um, uh, chemicals that are designed to last forever and they get everywhere. But you also get agricultural chemicals, heavy metals, um, and also, there can be some bacteria and things you don't want in your water, uh, and also chlorine and the chloramine compounds that uh, when the organic materials combine with the chlorine, that can be quite toxic. So you do want to filter that whenever you can. And um, you can use a, a Brita filter to just take out the basic stuff and, and the chlorinated things. Um, but I use a regular uh of a water bottle that actually filters the water uh, down to the microplastics and everything that you really want to get out. And uh, you can also get a really high quality filter for under $400 to sit on your uh, faucet next to your faucet or wherever you drink most of your water. And then you put the water from your tap into the filter and it filters by gravity and then you just push the spigot to fill your glass. Um, so that really works well. And um, the one I use is from Niken. It's actually not only filters, but it alkalizes and magnetizes the water just as if it was coming out of a, a limestone rich mountain stream. So uh, it tastes fantastic. And what I found counseling families is that kids don't drink water because it doesn't taste good. It's not because they don't like water. It's because they don't like the taste of water and their bodies are smart. Um, so if you have one of these units, the kids will start drinking water, which is really important, especially when they're active athletes and are just starting to realize what thirst is like. So um, do pay attention to your own thirst. As we age, uh, we still need water, even if we're not that active. And I just had my 75th birthday and I drink really good water. My joints don't hurt. I have good concentration, good memory. And that has a lot to do with being fully hydrated. Now, they used to recommend the eight glasses, but rely on your thirst and notice when you're feeling uh, like you need some more water. Uh, most Americans do drink up to a liter of water, but it might not be the best and it might be acid acidified so that it increases the acid in your body and increase that increases the stress level on your biochemical processes. So try to get alkaline water and drink to taste. Uh, don't drink a whole lot during a meal because that will delight your, uh, dilute your digestive system. So you don't want to do that. Um, and wait two hours till after a meal. So um, don't think you have to be drinking all the time. But if you're sweating a lot, if you know you're going to be sweating a lot, drink water before. And as soon as you stop your activity, have some more. And if you're out on the tennis court for two hours, yeah, obviously have a bottle of water nearby.
So um, that's it for today. Quality water. And uh, oh, also count on getting it from your fruits and vegetables. Have a big salad every day. Have a nice vegetable soup every day. Um, eat lots of fruit, bananas and grapes. They have special water that's already biologically treated by the plant and ready to be used by your body. So, so um, you know, have some grapes if there's no water nearby and enjoy great water. And I'm going to put a link to uh, the Niken Water Systems in the uh, description because uh, you can get it there. And I will get a small commission, but that's not why I'm telling you about it. I want you to be healthy. Thanks.